We're going live. Are we live? Are we live? We're live. Let's do this. We're live. Here we are. Okay. Uh, I just watched Wicker Man. Um, so I saw Midsummer um, earlier this week, a couple days ago, and then I just watched Wicker Man. Just want to talk a little bit about Wicker Man and Midsummer, and you know the differences, the similarities, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm a big film fan, of course. Uh, sorry about that. What's going on here? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, we won't worry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, Midsummer was my jam. I love the cult horror kind of genre, uh, subcategory of horror. I love that stuff. Um, both of those are great. I mean, Wicker Man is like a classic, I would say, considered a classic. Not only do you have Christopher uh, Lloyd, but um, it's just a brilliant freaking film. Uh, this new film, you know, I love Hereditary. So just like Hereditary, um, I had to see what this guy is going to do next. And when I found out it's this type of film, I was all about it. So um, I'm down with that. Um, yeah, I mean, if you look at it from a kind of plot perspective, there's a lot of similarities, right? Someone foreign goes into this culture. It's a European culture. It's May, the Maypole dance. It's very similar. Some shenanigans is going to go on. Somebody's going to get burnt, right? So you can look at it from a big perspective of, yeah, these movies are very similar. But I would argue that that's like saying like slasher movies are similar, you know? Yeah, it's got some beats, but I feel it's very different. Uh, it ends the same. But really, when you look at the captain in Wicker Man, he's such a paladin. He's such a character that is, you know, um, he is straight arrow. He doesn't cave to the temptations of the girl you know, tempting him at night, you know, next, the next, the next room over, he is always steadfast with his Christianity faith. And see that really, this movie is very much more religion and Christianity versus pagan um, compared to Midsummer, the new movie, which really doesn't go into religion at all. I mean, it's talking about the rates, the, excuse me, the rights and pageantry of this, um, culture but it really isn't going into the religion you know or comparing it to ours there's no um you know christian character or character who's like really into his fate and that kind of stuff um and so so that is something that um you know is is a difference there and in fact i feel like um Wicker Man is much more of a story about faith. And the, one of the reasons why it's a horrific is, a, is that you've got this character who's the lead, who is faithful to his God, and he dies. Like, Jesus don't save him. He's going to get burnt up. And that's kind of the horror, right? Is they're all like singing, ha you know, Kumbaya, happy-go-lucky when... Um, when he's dead, you know, when he's dying, he's burning up. Jesus ain't helping him, you know. Whereas in the other movie, the new movie, Midsummer, I feel like that movie doesn't have. Sorry, we're gonna do a lot of spoilers. I should say that at the beginning of the top. That movie um, doesn't really go into religion. It's more about grief and that you know dealing with that aspects of her other life and the other characters really. Um, you know, they have so many flaws in them that we don't really get a sense of a hero in any of those, you know, any of those characters necessarily. Um, so I think you should watch them both because they're so different and yet you can kind of see a lot of like similarities as, as far as just a general plot, you know, or as, or as far as, you know, in Wicker Man, of course, it is a story of there's this missing girl and the cops trying to find out what happened to this girl and he's worried about these freaking crazy rituals. In Midsummer, it's different because in there you've got um, these guys come in for a vacation, and then they stumble. You know, these anthropologist students 
you know, come across this, you know, religion that's so different. Um, and then shenanigans happens and there's deaths and all kind of stuff. Um, I like, I love pageantry. I love rituals. It's one of the reasons why I'm a Mason. I'm into that kind of historical stuff. Uh, so I like that. Um, I thought they were great. I thought they really good. I mean, cinematography, it's hard to compare. You're talking about movies that are like almost 50 years apart. So yeah, there's different technologies, there's different styles, but I still think uh, Wicker Man, uh, mostly because of the, the location, is just brilliant. Um, just really, really beautiful place, really shot really well, especially the ending um, and those castles throughout the film. It's just great. Uh, Midsummer looked wonderful too, but you know they found some secluded area to build a, build that set there. Um, really good. As far as pound for pound horror, gosh, I don't know. That's a hard one. Maybe Midsummer. Midsummer is freakier and a little scarier. Definitely in the very beginning uh, with the suicides and um, yeah, it's it's scarier than Wickerman. Although the ending in the Wickerman is great. There's some great stuff in it. Love them both. Yeah, there's a lot of similarities again, but I think that they're completely different. I don't necessarily think that. Midsummer. I mean, of course, the director saw Wicker Man and everyone has seen it, you know, many times, uh, probably all the versions, but I don't think they crib too much off it. I think, uh, a cult story is a cult story, and there's a lot of great ones out there. Mary Marlene. It's like Mary. There's another movie out there called Mary Something Marlene. Mary, Mary Marlene, something like that. That's another great cult movie. Anyway, that's it. Just do one quick video. I just thought, hey, I just saw those two movies. Really good. Go see Wicker Man. Go see Midsummer. If you're into horror, there you go. Art of Comics. Boom.